In this video, we're going to work with the reduction formulae. Please pause the video and try on your own. Okay, you are asked to write this expression as a single trigonometric ratio. Let's just remind ourselves of the various reduction formulae and our cast diagram. So the cast diagram tells us where the various trig ratios are positive. Everything in the first quadrant can be reduced by 360 plus an angle. Everything in the second quadrant 180 minus, in the third quadrant 180 plus, and in the fourth quadrant 360 minus. We also have our complementary angle reductions. In the first quadrant they are 90 minus theta, in the second quadrant they are 90 plus theta. Also, if we think of our negative angles, we have negative, uh, negative theta it lies in the fourth quadrant because we are um, negative angles are measured in a clockwise direction. And that diagram summarizes all of the uh, reductions that you need to know. Okay, so if we make a start here, tan of 180 plus places us in the third quadrant where tan is positive. So that will become positive tan theta. If we just take a look at theta minus 180, theta minus 180 and 180 minus theta are not the same. If I want them to be the same, if I want to swap around two terms that are being subtracted, we know from our work with algebra that we can swap them around if we take out a negative. So that will become cos squared of negative 180 degrees minus theta. Sine of 360 minus is in the fourth quadrant where sine is negative, and sine of 90 plus places us in the second quadrant where sine is positive, so our reduction will be positive, but because it's a complementary angle, it is the co-ratios that are equal. Co-ratios of complementary angles are equal, so it becomes the cosine of theta. Okay, let's work a little bit more with that cos squared of negative 180 minus theta. The cos of a negative angle is positive because cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. So that will reduce to positive cos squared of 180 degrees minus theta. And in the denominator, we will still have negative sine theta times cos theta. Now we can reduce the 180 minus. Cos squared means the cos of 180 minus theta times by the cos of 180 minus theta. So the fact that 180 minus puts us in the second quadrant where cos is negative, in this case it doesn't actually make any difference because we're going to square that negative and the result is going to be positive anyway. So it will reduce to positive cos squared theta over negative sine theta multiplied by cos theta. Cos squared theta divided by cos theta leaves us just with the cos the, uh, theta in the numerator. Tan theta is equal to sine theta divided by cos theta. We are going to be multiplying that by 1 over negative sine theta, because dividing by negative sine theta is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Sine theta divided by sine theta is 1, and we are left with negative 1 over cos theta.